An object slides with constant velocity across a horizontal sheet of ice. Okay? Friction is negligible. So this one, you have an object that is moving vertically up. Ping! And then we have a constant horizontal force of 2.1 Newton is then applied to the object. So the object is moving up, minding its own business, and suddenly incoming, there is a 2.1 Newton force pushing on it like that. So imagine you're moving upwards, and then you have a force that is uh, pushing you, moving upwards, there's a force pushing you in this direction. What happened? You will get pushed up. So that's why um, the object ends up going in this direction. Hi, uh, okay, sure. A short time after applying the force, the object reaches point X at a displacement of 4 meters from its position when the force is first applied. What is the work done? Work done by the force on the object as it travels to point X. You want to find work done? W. Immediately, we think about FS. But we have to remember that F and S, force and displacement, are parallel to each other. So F parallel to S. So if S, F is parallel to S, the force and displacement is parallel. Now I look at this, the force and the displacement ain't parallel, no. Okay, no. So then I think to myself, actually, the force only pushes the object towards the right. Correct? That's what the force does. The object also happens to move upwards because it was already moving upwards. But what is relevant to the 2.1 Newton is, I want you to move to the right. To the right, to the right. So which means I should actually multiply by this distance. I say this is my S. So that these two is parallel. Oh. The pink color and the blue color is parallel. Also, from the force F's perspective, I only care about horizontal motion. You vertical, you want to go up your business. Okay, no? So can we find the distance S? Yes, we can. Okay, we can use cos. Cos 30 degree is, up, is a side, which is S over the hypotenuse, which is 4. So S will be equal to 4 cos 30. Or you can resolve, you know, 4 cos 30. So this one, you will put 2.1 times 4 cos 30. And that will give you 7.27 joules. Remember, whenever you use work done, F and S is parallel. It can give you any scenario. Just make sure either you resolve the force or you resolve the displacement and make them parallel vector resolution. That's it for this nice and easy question.